Don't be scared around him. Come along. He's not going to kill you. Good day to you. Good day to you, Ethan. Come, son. Thank God you got away with it. I swear I didn't know that he was following me. Aldo, he had a gun put to my head and I still didn't say anything. Aldo, what I thought was taken there. If I bring him to Aldo, he will take care of it. I thought my brother will fix it. I should have never gotten you involved in this. Aldo, uh, don't say that. I beg of you, brother. Believe me, I'm so sorry. I failed. You trusted me and I failed you. I just couldn't hack it, brother. <laughs> I'm just an incompetent ass! Sit down right here. If you would have told me you were coming, I would have called Selma over. She cleans up the place sometimes. Mommy! I haven't been home for a few days. Did you know that Sabri was opening that store? We've been working on that. It's gonna happen this time. <laughs> okay, leave all that and let's sit down. Do you have money? I give by all right. I do odd jobs sometimes. The rent? Don't worry about me, man. I'm fine. You tell me how you are. I mean, I get your news all the time. <laughs> People get scared of me too now. Tell Sabri you won't be around. At least for a little while, that is. What happened, Aldo? Are you in some trouble? There's a good job. You're in on it.
Aldo, uh, I can't do that kind of thing. You will now. I need a group of men, but not like the bastards around me. I need someone I can really trust in this. Someone as close to me as a brother. It won't be easy. But man, it's good money though. You can finally be rid of this mess. After that, you can open a store, open a brothel, open whatever your heart desires then. And you won't be beholden to anyone again. Thank you, Aldo. I hope I won't disappoint you. Mm -hmm.